Record. Okay. Hello, my name is Wahid Lutfi. I'm going to demonstrate how to install Xenity software or Xenity packages um, on a Linux Ubuntu server. Xenity displays graphical uh, dialog boxes uh, within uh, in the terminals or within the shell scripts. You can just have um, widgets and, and dialog boxes using Xenity software. And um, let me just uh, share my screen uh, here for um, the demo that I'm going to uh, present to you uh, first. Um, right here, as you can see, Linux installed Xenity using apt install. So I'm going to do a slideshow on this one. And as you can see that uh, for this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to do um, and how to install uh, Linux um, Xenity software uh, using app install. So without further ado, let's just get started. Uh, let me get uh, back to the screen that I wanted to share with you right here. So I'm gonna clear my screen here and I type in ID, so that's my user ID. And I say which Xenity to see if Xenity is already installed. Install not, not installed, so this uh, which command did not return the path to Xenity and a dollar sign question mark, meaning that it did not find it. Normally when you say which Python 3, for example, if it should show the version or which GCC it is there. So Xenity is not there, and then that's why um, and the dollar sign question mark, uh, it's supposed to be successful when it returns a zero. That means that it found the user bin GCC in the case of that. So clearing my um, screen again, I'm gonna do um, run the app command. Before I do the app command, let me tell you a little bit about app. Uh, application package toolkit is the binary. Uh, user bin uh, app. This is basically executable um, binary. It's the uh, Ubuntu package manager. It's called uh, stands for application package toolkit. Or um, if I say apt dash um, uh, get, that one is also um, available for you. And then uh, the Debian version is. Um, Debian PKG is the mother of all uh, package managers that you can use the uh, PKG to install the app. But at this time, all I uh, you need to know is that uh, which app is there and then which um, app get is there and then also app install. But in addition, there's a directory etc app, which is the sources.list file. As you can see, this is sources.list here. And this one is basically a sources.list. This is um, the etc app and sources.list. It just says uh, that where to get the repository uh, when, when um, the uh, Debian repository where they are. So we can just do app list or app get. So clearing my screen here, if I do a app list and then I do a word count minus L, and there's a lot of um, uh, application toolkits that are supported by app there. So as you can see, uh, 82,000 there, 82,000 packages. If you get the like app uh, list, just uh, do a grep minus I for GCC, for example, you can see a, a very big list of them. So for, every, for everything that you wanna uh, do, uh, if it is already installed, you could say app list Xenity, for example. And if it is installed, it will tell you that, yeah, it is installed. But if it is not found, like you could say app info Xenity, that info is going to give you information on the Xenity software. And as you can see, it does uh, give you a lot of uh, good description here. <clears throat> and uh, displays graphical dialog boxes from shell script. Zen Zenity allows you to display GTK, uh, GNU toolkit, uh, dialog boxes from shell, and then a rewrite of the uh, G and dialog. So the uh, GNU dialog was uh, already available 
and Zenity replace that one over, uh, I mean, rewrite that one as a Zenity. It's a very good um, graphical toolkit that you can uh, use to create um, uh, dialog boxes on uh, Linux and Unix machines. Um, uh, normally, um, as a, a standard installation of Ubuntu or Red Hat or something, they don't have it unless you just install the developer version or you just uh, install the package. Since it's not there, I'm going to do app search Zenity. The search is just basically doing a search on it and it says what Zenity software is available for you to do this. So if I say app install, let me clear my screen here and say app install Zenity. Normally, uh, it requires root access. Since I'm not root access, I can either do sudo su dash and then uh, just provide the password. And then uh, once you provide the password, now your root ID here is root. So I could just say um, the same command without the sudo. Um, I don't have to type in sudo in front of my command. If I wanted to do apt install uh, Zenity, I could have just put uh, sudo in front of it. But now since I'm logged on as root, I could do um, apt install Zenity. That would just go and find out the packages that are related to Zenity. And it says the following packages will be upgraded, Dbus. So any dependencies, they have to also meet the upgrade. And then um, after the operating system, this one, do you want to continue? Say yes. So this will just go try to uh, get all the packages for Zenity as well as any dependencies. So apt is very much like RPM on uh, Red Hat Package Manager, if you're familiar with it. And basically it is uh, going to the repository and it's gonna find any dependencies that are uh, there. It will meet it and then it will install it. It is not like snap that is self-contained. The whole package is uh, like containerized, but this one is, um, a smaller packages, so it will find all the dependencies. You don't have to worry about what uh, dependencies I have to install, and then it will do it. RPM, on the other hand, uh, it's not like uh, completely um, self-contained um, or uh, packages that are not there. Um, it will not find it unless if you want to install OpenSSL, for example, if uh, the um, package uh, is uh, needed by OpenSSH. Once you install OpenSSH, you will find out. Then it is not uh, automatically going to uh, go for all the dependencies. And they don't know if you're going to build OpenSSL for uh, a building Apache web server or something else. So as a result, uh, RPM is not fully um, uh, for a self-contained repository is not going to check all the dependencies, but apt does. apt is going to check for every dependencies. You don't have to uh, know which depends in de which dependencies are there and which one has to be met. As you can see, the progress is about 15% right now. And I'm just going to let it uh, run for a little bit uh, because it's going to take a while. And then I just want to pause the video that way uh, I don't kill your time um, for no reason uh, or use your time in this case. So pause recording. Okay, so as you can see, the progress is made. It's over 90%. And then um, what, what I want to mention also here is that uh, whenever you do the app uh, install or app uh, upgrade, uh, usually, if you have uh, done the latest uh, apt update, then uh, the apt install will be much faster because a lot of the dependencies are already up to date for update. So the apt update uh, is um, equivalent to just uh, running this one um, on an occasion basis uh, that you could uh, save some time um, when you're doing apt install. Apt is similar to um, yum or a DNF command on uh, Linux and uh, Red Hat. Uh, DNF, a yum yellow dog update manager was the pre previous version of DNF. The DNF is on Red Hat 
six or eight by five, replaced the previous ascent OS uh, YUM. It is a still symbolic link to um, the, uh, the DNF and DNF dash three, which is the actual um, uh, Fedora version of uh, DNF running uh, similar um, package manager like uh, YUM. But YUM will eventually will be uh, end of life, uh, but right now it's symbolic link. So um, both uh, YUM and DNF are doing the same thing that uh, as if you're running DNF command. And so this one is about 98% uh, completed. And as soon as it's done, it will just uh, close it. And then uh, we will know if uh, Zenity software is installed successfully or not. Let's just uh, wait uh, till this finished and uh, that is almost done. 99% went away and then now I have the prompt. So echo dollar sign uh, question mark is going to show zero meaning successfully. There was no error, nothing. Uh, so which uh, Zenity now, if I do that one, it's going to show uh, Zenity is installed. And as you can see, it is successfully installed the Zenity, and then if I say apt search Zenity, that would uh, still search it, and then and this time it's going to show the packages, and then it says that this packages are installed. You can see the word installed here. That's how you know that one also. And then apt list uh, Zenity will also list the uh, packages for Zenity. So then uh, you could do also RPM minus QA grip minus I Zenity to see if there was any packages with uh, related to Zenity that had uh, RPM, but this is apt. So application package toolkit will give you all the details of it on there. And then um, and in addition, um, at this time, I'm going to just show you when I say which Zenity, you can see file user bin Zenity, and then if you just need man pages on Zenity, you could do man Zenity since that software is installed, it uh, gives you the entire uh, things with Zenity here. And then if you just want to create a calendar, you just type in Zenity dash dash calendar, Zenity uh, entries, uh, files, info, and so on. All of those details are there, and then um. Uh, let's clear the screen here. We say Zenity and then dash dash help. This is just a list of all the Zenity uh, argument that are passed on. I cannot open display because I'm not running a, a software that uh, is um, connected. I'm sorry, let me just go here. Uh, Z um, X Ming. Uh, usually um, you have to be on a desktop version or maybe uh, exported the uh, display, but uh, the display in here is not gonna just open it there. So I have to be on a uh, desktop server to run this uh, Zenity commands here. Um, let's see if I do, uh, uh, this thing is hanging here and say uh, Zenity, um, not Zenity actually, we could say uh, echo dollar sign display and then xcalc. Uh, let's see, xcalc. If I could just open a calculator, that means uh, my display is set, but it's not. So let me just uh, make sure that first I do a xming here to start the tool. And then uh, here um, I'm actually running it in the ID mode of root. So that is not set. Um, if I get out of this one, I could run it or I could do um, copy slash uh, home slash wlutfi slash dot x authority, authority and then under root. So I just have now the root dot uh, x authority. So sometimes you can just uh, use it as root as well. And then if I just run x calc here, it doesn't display, the display is not done. So who am I is there, it's just coming like this. Whereas if I just exit out of this one and say ID W Lutfi, uh, who am I? Now it's just showing me that is there. Now X calc, let's see, 
echo dollar sign display first display and then i say um x calc and then this one will open the calculator here so at this time if i just can open calculator and uh, if i want to just avoid this uh, session i could just say uh, x calc to greater sign dev null that uh, these fonts uh, will uh, warning will disappear uh, on the dev null it will not show so now that i can do this one that means i should be able to do zenity also clear my screen which is zenity and zenity and dash dash help it uh, should it just give me a list of commands and uh, for what zenity and as you can see because the display is set now, I can run those commands as well. So um, one of them was zenity dash dash calendar. So it should open a calendar and then just uh, open it uh, in a nice graphical interface. And it does right here. Okay, so I'm going to close this one. And then um, you could have all these options there I have other videos that I'm teaching uh, how to do Zenity from command lines, and then you're welcome to use those ones. I don't want to get this uh, video um, from installation to all the way to uh, running a script and other ones, but uh, on subsequent scripts, we can do that one. Uh, have a nice one. Take care. God bless you all.